Hello everyone, welcome back to Mastery Mayhem. Today I'm going to do an unboxing and a review on this Gnor Cross Line Laser. Just wanted to show you all what this guy is capable of at a fraction of the cost of some of the other brand name cross line lasers out there. Let's go ahead and unbox it and review it. Alright everyone, here it is. The Gnor Cross Line Laser. Not exactly sure how you pronounce it, but the uh, model number is the TPK PT0034. Um, it is Gnor Born for Tools. That is their little slogan there. And let's go ahead and open it up. But before we do, I just want to let you know that the links uh, to this um, item will be in the description of the video as well as the top of the comment section. There will be a coupon code as well. So make sure to use that if you find yourself to be interested in this particular cross-line laser by Gnor. Let's go ahead and open this guy up. Alright, so they do have a really nice warranty. It's actually lifetime limited warranty and then they have certain conditions as to what uh, are not included in the warranty but if the package is damaged seriously the product cannot be used when it is received quality problems such as malfunction in the process of using the accessories are incomplete or guidance on using a method of operation so you can return that no problem after sales service re uh, regulation so yeah lifetime limited warranty definitely hold on to this that's pretty sweet by Gnor, they got their website, they got phone number, everything's there in case anything goes wrong with your cross line laser. Then the cross line laser manual is pretty awesome. It just gives you all the uh, information there. You need to identify all the functions and parts on the laser level. You got your uh, pulse LED indicator, you got your power, power LED indicator, laser window there, and lock and unlock switch. Then you have here, of course, your charging port on the lower right. And then underneath you have the quarter inch 20 mounting shred for your uh, mounting it to a tripod. And I'll show you guys that here in a little bit. Uh, the laser type is an LD Green 520NM. The product type is 1V1H4-2 uh, lines. Uh, laser power is 15MW by 1. Laser class is class 2. So leveling range is uh, four degrees plus or minus one degrees. Leveling time less than three seconds. Uh, extension angle is HNV 110 degrees. Ingress protection here is uh, IP54. Charge mode is USB-C charging socket. The power source is a 3.7 volt 1400 milliamp Lion battery. And then it gives you operation temperature, storage temperature, and then the dimensions. So, all right, so that's what comes in the manual. Let me just go ahead and show you all. We're going to turn it on, see how it works, and then we're going to compare it to my skill uh, cross line laser and just show you that this, what this guy can do and how, how it operates. All right, so all you need as far as to get this guy on a tripod is a uh, base here with a quarter inch threading and just tighten that down just like that securely in place and then we are going to put it on this tripod right here okay we're gonna just again this is the tripod i have just depending on whatever tripod you have available easy to put on here just like that lock it in place and we're going to turn it towards the wall now so let's see here and to turn it on you just got you just got to hit the uh power button for a few seconds and there you go so what's really great about this laser is when you have it in lock mode, you can do, for example, you can do projects, right, that if you have them at an angle, you want to put, you want to put picture frames at an angle. Basically on a stairwell, whatever, you can put picture frames like that. Uh, but you have to leave the laser in lock mode, and this one will flash every five seconds. It's not saying anything's wrong with it. It's just saying, hey, it's not in self-leveling mode. And, you know, uh, it is locked in the lock position as far as the level is concerned. So that's a really neat feature if you want to get something done at an angle of any kind, right? If you want to get that 45 degree angle, you measure it once. 
You can verify the 45 degree wherever it may be and then it'll hold it in that position for you until you get your your project done over there. So pretty nice feature. So let's go ahead and get this back down and now we will unlock it and let that level now it's gonna self level right there perfectly level it's moving because I'm walking on the carpet here but now it is level my camera is not so that's why it looks probably off plus I wanted you all to see that you can see it here, let's see if we can get it right in the center you can see that laser on the green my green screen you can see it on of course the the white there brighter now I'm just I have my LED lights pointing up towards the ceiling and I want to show you here with the lights pointed directly at the laser that you can still see it or I believe you can so right now 6,000 lumens pointing directly at the laser on the right and let's see we're gonna get 6,000 lumens pointed directly on the left side so now we have the lights pointing directly here basically 12,000 lumens pointing directly at the laser and you can still see it in the camera. This is, uh, this is just, so I'm not saying it's as bright as daylight, but uh, the laser is probably 10 feet from the wall and that's what you see. And then check this out. They include these glasses. I don't know if, how, if it's gonna work well through the ca camera lens, but let's see. So with the glasses, you can see the green more clearly but I'm trying to show you that it's what's really neat about these glasses it, is it magnifies the green laser. So it's pretty awesome. Let me, let me put it on here. Yeah, so they include these glasses which really magnify the green. So you can see it even where it's fading out here. I mean, through the camera it looks more faded than in person. I can still see it on my white wall, no problem. With the light directly pointed at it, 6,000 lumens. And then when I add these glasses, even brighter or more easily to detect it or more easy to see. So that's the self-leveling uh, portion of it. Um, I did want to show you some other features that it comes with um, and then we'll compare it to my skill laser. Actually, let's go ahead and compare it with the skill laser right now. This is a, the skill is more expensive. It is more compact, right? The skill is a more compact laser, but let's see if I could just, uh, we're going to put we're gonna, this is what the skill comes with, one of these attachments. But uh, we'll put that on here so I can, the tripod that the green one is on, the uh, Genoa. Okay, so just to show you all, all right? We have, right now the one that's on is the Genoa. Let's turn on the um, skill laser here. And again, of course, it's not level because I have it locked. So let's go ahead and unlock it and let it level itself. There we go. So now you can see the skill one right there. This is, where's my finger? That's the skill. That's the Genoa. Now the skill has these markers, right, right here. That kind of helps with some, uh, some work that's more specific. But if you see, I mean, to the naked eye, the Genoa green laser is more dense or a higher, it's got like a higher pixelation than the skill one. Skill looks like you can see the the pixels like spaced out, right? Where you see some dark spots, black uh, areas. So I don't know if, if it's because the battery might be low. Could be that. But the uh, the Genoa is much brighter and uh, much more uh, dense as far as the green light is concerned. So Genoa is it, it's just as capable. It's got the locking mode. It's got the self-leveling mode. It's got the flashing warnings as well, just like the skill. Everything like the skill, it's a little bigger. So let me compare that for you guys. That turns it off if you lock it, but then if you hold it, it it'll turn it back on into locked position there. As, as far as I can tell, Genoa is just fine. It is a better price. It works uh, the way you need it to work. So something that's really, really awesome. Uh, it is rechargeable. It has a USB-C cable for USB to USB-C cable. Let me just go ahead and show you guys the difference here. All right, so the magnetic L bracket that comes with it is pretty awesome. It can spin 360 degrees once you have it tightened down, but let's go ahead and just tighten this in place. This comes with the packet, right? But just so you see, this is the only metal thing I have in my room here. But yeah, it holds it no problem onto the metal there. 
and in case if you need to attach it one way or another uh, on some metal frame or beams or anything like that it'll hold it just fine so it's a pretty neat deal there and then you can just turn it wherever you need it to hold it so a really nice feature and it spins 360 degrees so the L bracket comes out far enough from the wall so it looks like it holds it just fine once you put it in the position you need it it'll just stay there and you can get your job done Again, it has two magnets here, so very nice, very strong magnets. I it held it on the basically the door handle. All right, let's do a comparison with the skill as far as size, and that's pretty much it. Basically, for a fraction of the cost of other laser levels, this Genoa will give you will do everything the other ones will do. Okay, so as far as dimensions are concerned, this is the skill laser level. And this is the Genor. As far as the sides, of course the skill is a bit smaller. Same as the width, the skill is a bit smaller. Weight wise though, they're about the same weight. I'd say maybe, maybe the skill, a few ounces heavier is what it feels like to me. But again, the skill is going for, I think, $97. Version 2, version 1 of the skill is going for $87. So I'll include those links for the skill if you prefer the skill one. Um, but this guy for 53 bucks plus the discount code, you can't beat it. This thing works just as great as the skill or any of those other ones. Milwaukee, uh, Bosch, I think is going for 185 bucks. It's only a 75 foot range. This is a 100 foot range. It also has that light plate, which makes the laser more precise. So it just comes with a bunch of accessories that other ones do not come with. And uh, remember, it comes with those green glasses that help protect your eyes. Let's go ahead and plug this guy in and see how it looks charging. Just open up the flap here. Remember, this is USB-C, so it's uh, a little more advanced. And right there, you see the green light flashing. It's good to go. It's charging up for you. And I'm assuming you can have it plugged in if you need it on a lot longer. Let's see if it works while it's charging. Yep, it's working just fine as you can see there. Very awesome laser actually. It's brighter than the skill laser. So um, as far as the technical stuff I shared with you through the manual. Again, it comes with the cleaning cloth for your glasses, for the uh, laser glass as well. Just a really nice laser. I will test it out in the field when I get a chance. You can use this for all kinds of things. Setting up your cabinets, making sure they're level, uh, portraits, uh, works of art, um, frame, framework, fencing, whatever project you may have for 53 bucks, you can't beat that. And that coupon code will save you even more. So I highly, highly recommend, you know, if you haven't used lasers before and you're just considering it, and you don't want to spend a lot of money in comparison to the other brands out there uh, this one is completely capable of doing those things which you need for a fraction of the cost so all the instructions are in here as far as self leveling mode general uh, operation mode pulse mode is activated by a press and hold uh, over two seconds when laser tool is in the unlocked position so let's go ahead and try it we're going to unlock it Okay, and now we're gonna hold it for about two seconds. There we go. Okay, so when it's in pulse mode, all available beams will lower the brightness and pulse LED indicator will turn on, right? The red light. Another press and hold two seconds will deactivate the outdoor pulse mode where all available beams will recover the brightness and pulse LED indicator will turn off. So it's about two seconds. Yeah, then it goes much brighter. Okay, so that's awesome. Uh, outdoor pulse mode will allow use with laser detector even brighter environments or at much greater working distances. So that's good uh, mode there, the pulse mode. This gives you a little more capability there. Just want to show you that how it charges there. You lock it, close it, and you're good to transport it. The material is like the red on the um, skill, but it doesn't have this... Uh, actually, yeah, it's it's the same material. So has a nice grip to it. Beautiful cross laser level. Glad I got to share this with you all. So you get all this, 
right there with the charging USB to USB-C cable. This is about a five foot cable here. So there you have it. If you have any questions on it, please uh, ask it in the comments of the video and I will answer whatever I can for you. I've used this to put up shelves, I've used this to put up paintings and portraits and uh, even fencing, smaller fence projects, rails in, indoors for rails. It's a good tool. Glad I was able to share this. Uh, thank you to Ganor for sending this my way. Very happy and very, very impressed with their laser level, especially at the price point they have it. This guy can do whatever you need it to do, just like uh, the higher end ones that go upwards to four, five, six hundred dollars. As always, I'm looking for the best tools, tech, DIYs, and deals for you. And until next time, I only hope all the best to you and yours. And don't forget to enter my awesome power tool giveaway for 2021. Uh, you never know, you may be the next winner. Until next time, take care.